<sighs> he said he didn't know what was going on, but people are yelling, stop the show. Um, the guy who has the camera, the whole production crew, everybody at that event, in my opinion, was negligent. They knew what was going on. You see people in pandemonium. Uh, these type of young men, these in these, ugh, they they want they want our kids to die for fun. Like this doesn't make any sense. I've never been a big concert guy. I think I've been to one, maybe two concerts in my life. I went to maybe three. I went to a Plies concert. I went to a Lil Boosie concert. And then I think I went to a Two Pistols concert. And every time I've gone to one of these concerts, it was because someone else wanted to go. <laughs> it was because a brother, a friend, a girlfriend, or somebody wanted to go. Because I always said, I can't control what's going on in a big-ass concert. This is not somewhere I want to be. But people love the concert. I'd rather watch it on TV. But the people at this concert, that's crazy. So is every, uh, our, our majority of these rappers selling us the devil? Uh, we see Meg the Stallion. Uh, she's a beautiful woman. Um, a lot of women like the way she rap. But I just got a picture of her selling hot sauce in a devil outfit with a devil tail. And our black women are some of the most godly, Christian, God-fearing women ever. All the mamas prayed. That's, you're going to always see a Bible in a woman's house. Now, I ain't saying she always practiced the perfect behavior, but you're going to see that Bible. They don't fuck around with no devil shit. Ain't no devil shit going on in no black house, period. They might be punching on a motherfucker and still say, God, forgive me. They, they ain't playing with no devil. So now we got black women wearing devil costumes? <laughs> Fucking what? And we accepting this type of shit? Man. Oh, man, this shit don't make no sense. It don't make no sense no more. These celebrities are not, they're building these celebrities up to push them out in front of you to make you want to be like them. And then they make them do the most fucked up, ridiculous, dumbass shit that will not work in real life. It would only work in a celebrity's life where they have big lawyers, big companies, to protect them from the bullshit that they're doing because they're beneficial to them because they're getting a lot of you fucked up, shot up, stabbed up, and locked up. This shit is a game. I told you. This is a simulation. This is a game. Why would anybody be watching the 1% as much as the masses are watching? It doesn't make any sense. Just look at the numbers. But statistics will show you, the numbers will show you, the majority of you are not going to reach this 1%. Why the fuck are you spending the majority of your time watching some shit that you're not going to be a part of? You would think you would watch people around you and that's going to help you thrive in the environment that you are around. But no, you spend all your money to get to these concerts, to get to these events, to brush shoulders with these celebrities and you will sell your soul. You will take off your ring. You will bend that ass over whether you got a wife, husband. It don't matter because you in front of a celebrity. So you got to do this shit because you done been brainwashed to do it. You not in control of what the fuck you think you in control of. I don't give a fuck how much you in, you're educated you an educated fool. All we got to do is play a TikTok goddamn video and all of you motherfuckers to do it. No matter how many degrees you got, I see kids walking up to their mama saying, mama, drop that load. And you shaking your ass in front of your goddamn son. You some educated fools. Sorry.
I'm just a busty bust. That's my opinion. This whole 